Nick's Newton's law, push versus a pull. Did you know that all movement is a push or a pull? You are aware of that. My backswing, I've got two ways to get there. I can take the left front part of my body, these muscles, and take that club and go this way. Or I can take the total opposite, the right back side, and do this. This versus this. Do you see the difference? I have people come in here all the time. Nick can vouch for this. They got a 40 to 45 degree shoulder turn and I can't get, to, my, can't get my back to the target and I need some flexibility. No, you don't. You can't get your back to the target because you're not moving your back. If you moved your back, you can get it to the target really easy. Ed, you're a great example of that. It was this. He's taking the left arm and doing this. Well, the left, it will get there. Your left shoulder will get under your chin. The arm will get exactly where it's supposed to be. We're just gonna change the origin of movement of where you move from. So you're actually gonna pull from the right side and then you're gonna pull back through with the left. And again, in instruction, we hear all different ways of how to do that. But when you're talking biomechanics, it's not like you have to do it. But when you're talking biomechanics, that movement, the pull back, that's this one right here. Can you see how straight everything is? And my right shoulder's behind my head, left shoulder's under. The reason I did that is you see this a lot. Mike, do you ever see that where people go, you see that? Where they take that left arm and they go this way and now their butt and everything kind of splits off. So that's another thing that you see a lot of. When you pull and they get the scapula involved, and Jeff's the one that pointed out, he said, oh, that's a great spine stabilizer. How would you like for your swing to actually be a spine stabilizer? That's what it is. You're going around it, you're not moving it. You're gonna keep it as stable as you possibly can. So that's another reason that push versus a pull, because the chain reaction of a push, it moves your arms and your clubs away from center. And good players, when they move that left shoulder, like on tour, and then have a good swing, they're also moving the right side. They're not just moving the, the left. They, everything kind of moves as one piece. But I found with amateurs, if you tell them left, that's what they do. And they elevate that shoulder blade and now you got this. And that's where their swing is. One shoulder blade's hiked way up. And you got lots of shoulder injuries from this too. And then this one's usually down. And I can't get my back to the target. Of course you can't. Now watch. Oh, <laughs> there it is, back to the target. You got it? So left shoulder under the chin is absolutely correct, but there's another origin of movement of where you could actually move from to make that happen easier for you. Hi, Allison TG here, founder of the Anatomical Absolutes for the Golf Swing. Hope you enjoyed that short clip. If you'd like to hear the entire one hour lecture, just click the button below.